hey friends, Catherine here. I have some of our new products. We have the large doily die, which I'm loving. I do, I have one card sitting here. I've not posted this on my blog yet, but I totally love this large doily die with the checkerboard stencil and the fruit. Just loving this. <laughs> and it also pairs really well with our new Bring Out the Best stamp set. And if you guys have watched some of my lives this week, you know that I have a bracelet and on the inside, on the inside, it's inscribed with this quote right here. And I try to take that to heart. Uh, I think it's important to surround yourself with people that bring out the best in you and then also be that for other people. And it's always something that I'm working on myself in my personal life. So I was excited to get it on a stamp. And Alana Griffo, she hand letters for some of the happy planners. She hand lettered this. And then Shauna Klingerman, one of our illustrators, did the flowers. And I'm totally loving this stamp set. I'm going to use the new Blackjack ink pad also, along with Sweet 16, Flirty Fuchsia, Garden Party, Lime Ricky, and my dear friend Christopher Allen, who does uh, is the owner of Brutus Monroe. He has a really good white pigment ink, so we're going to use that. I already have this set up on my Misty. I am using my Misty because I want to make sure the scent, this sentiment gets stamped nice and solid. So I'm just going to pat my ink pad, stamp it. That is looking pretty darn good, but I'm going to give it another pass just for good measure. Awesome. I have a little smudge there, so we're going to have to figure out how to take care of that. <laughs> I'm going to use both sizes of the flowers. So there is the big one and the small one. We're going to go in Sweet 16 first. And then we'll go for the small. Just going to stamp one because I'm going for an odd number, which is visually pleasing. And then the second one, stamping this on top is going to give it a little bit of a layered and slight, kind of like a little watercolor look, which is super fun. Love this. And we'll grab the small one. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Loving it. Onto the greens. Where's my small one? Here we go. Uh, let's see, where do I want this one to go? Maybe here. And then we'll do Lime Ricky for the layer on top. All right, and then we have our layer on top. And I'll get the big one. So I'm just using this, this, uh, you know what? Did they, have they discontinued this? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I think someone told me that they discontinued it, but it's an anti-static tool and usually it's used for embossing, but our ink stays wet for a few seconds. So I'm using it because I want to make sure that this is dry because the next step I'm going to use uh, white ink and white embossing powder. And I want to make sure that my embossing powder only sticks to the ink. The ink on the flower, uh, the ink on the leaves that I'm about to stamp, not the ink on the uh, the colored ink that I already stamped. All right, so let's see. Are you guys following me? <laughs> so we got that. All right. I am not letting this ink dry because I want this to be really white. I could also use Versamark and then the white ink, but I want it to be super white, so I'm going white on white just to make sure it's as white as I want it to be. So okay, and then we're gonna grab the swirl stamp. This is the large one, so it goes on top of the large flower. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wait till you see when I emboss this. Now I'm gonna grab the small swirl stamp. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm gonna grab my heat tool. Looking good. What do you guys think? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love it. And then I took the large dually die. I have already cut it out. So I'm gonna pull this out. And let's see, I have a card base and a layer here. And I was just gonna go white on white on white and then just do this sticking out just a little bit. Oh my gosh, isn't that such a great little embellishment? But of course, we can't waste this whole thing. So we're gonna have to cut it. Just gonna cut a little piece. We'll have that sticking out. And let me get my little pokey tool. I wanna poke some of these extra little guys that are hanging out. I don't have to worry probably about poking all of them out because this whole thing won't show. So there we go. Just gonna adhere this down. I'm gonna do this in the bottom corner so then it's gonna stick out, let's see, it'll stick out the side and the bottom. Grab my liquid glue and just layer this right on top. What do you guys think about some sequins? There, all done. I hope you have some fun crafting plans and I was able to help jumpstart your creativity. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Thanks for being here, guys. Have a great day.